Hello everybody, it's Brocky Duck, and today I am going to show you how to make your very own mod in Minecraft. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And if you like it, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as well. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own mod in Minecraft. And so let's just jump right in. To kind of get started with... Uh, creating your own mod for Minecraft Pocket Edition, let's first figure out what a mod is. So basically mod stands for modification and it's short for modification. So when you make a mod in Minecraft, you're basically modifying Minecraft by possibly adding new features in it, making new levels of gameplay, and doing all other sorts of things. And today we're going to be modding Minecraft Pocket Edition with a with an app. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. So in order to begin installing your apps and modding Minecraft, there are two apps you need to install. And those two apps are called Mod Maker for Minecraft and Block Launcher. And they are these ones right there. And that one right there as well. So you need those two apps. And I would also highly recommend that you go into full screen mode if you, unless you, of course, want to look at this sideways. So once you have those two apps installed, you're going to go ahead and click on the Mod Maker for Minecraft app and let it open up. So the, and once the page loads, you're going to want to click Start. So you can go ahead and click Start and you can say Later or whatever. And I'm just going to say Later. So you'll get to a page that shows your information. So first thing you can type in your mod name. So I'm just going to put in new mod. And then you can choose your mod version, the creator, the uh, version for the Minecraft Pocket Edition, and more info. And then you can include some custom items. So what you want to do is you want to click the add button as soon as you've already filled out the information. And then it will show this little bar where you can select your items. And there are four choices of ca categories that you can choose. And there's a custom block, a custom weapon, a custom armor, and a custom mob. So I'm going to go ahead and do one item of each. So I'll start out with making a custom block. So when you click on making custom block, it'll show the block ID, which you really don't need to change. It'll show the block name, it'll show the block type, the block texture, the crafting recipe, the story, and all this different stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and do, I'll just call it block, since this is just a sample mod. And, but, but you can name it whatever you want. And then you can click on your block type, normal or lucky. I'm just gonna, going to do a normal mod, uh, block type, but if you want to make it lucky, feel free to. Then you can choose your block texture. The app does have ads, by the way. However, most of them are um, pretty good. So most of the ads are not like harmful or anything like that. So then you can choose the texture of your block. So I'm gonna, I'll just do like a blue TNT. That looks pretty cool. And then you can choose the crafting recipe. So you can go ahead, you will see the crafting recipe. Uh, you can make the result quantity more or less. You can, the result ID really doesn't make much of a difference. The result damage. Uh, if you want to do any damage when you do that, that's fine. But you really don't need to worry about much of that. But what you want to do in order to craft the item is to go ahead and do click on the top corner. And then you can type in anything you want. So I'm going to do TNT. And then I'll do die. So Lapis Lazul die. I'll go ahead and do TNT with Lapis Lazul die to make blue TNT. And once you have completed your crafting recipe, you can go ahead and click OK. And then you can do on destroy. It'll show a different section. You can choose whatever block you want. So on destroy, I'll just go ahead and make it so that it'll destroy TNT, which is right here. And quantity one, you can change the quantity if you want, but uh, one is fine. And when you're done with that, you can click add and everything. So after you have specifically completed your thing, I'm going to actually rename this blue TNT. There we go. And just kind of a quick tape. It's best to choose your block texture and crafting recipe and everything and just do the block name last. But you can do it however you want. So, but if you do the name, you will have to redo one of these other icons because it's just the way the app works. So when you're done, you can click save and it'll ask you if you want to confirm your block. 
so you can do that. So now if, you're, if you look at your mod, it will show that you have one item. So at this point, I'm going to click on another item and go through the different options. So there's weapons, armor, and mobs. Um, so for the weapon, you can just do whatever you want. So I'll just call this one sword, naming that weapon damage. You can just make it however much you want. Uh, you can do a weapon particle or a weapon effect if you want, but I'm not going to do any of that for this sample weapon. And once again, the add, I'll just click on one. Crafting recipe, you can just choose however you want to do it. So I'll just go ahead and do a stick for the top, whatever. You can make the crafting recipe however much you want for that. And I'll just make a random crafting recipe. Click save and confirm. So after that, that's pretty much the weapon. For the next section, I'll do armor. And I'll just name this one armor just because it's a sample mod. Armor damage per hit. We'll just do five. Armor maximum defend, example 50. We'll just put what they say. Armor icon, you can choose all the different icons. Anytime you choose an icon, I believe it shows the ad. So you can just go ahead and choose whatever you want. Armor texture, you can make it look like that. So I'll just go ahead and choose one up here, the very first one. And the crafting recipe is, I'll just do like one gold block for that. And you can click OK, save, and confirm when you're done with that. And the last one is a mob, and I think the mobs are pretty cool as far as that is concerned. I think that the mobs are the most interesting part, that in the block. So I'll just go ahead and name this mob. Uh, we'll give it 10 health. Mob icon, you can just choose whatever you want. Mob texture, you can, it'll show whatever you want to make it. Uh, my channel is called Blocky Duck, so I guess I'll do a duck. Crafting recipe, mobs really don't have crafting recipes, so then on destroy. Let's say we'll let it destroy, I don't know, let's do a random one. Ducks destroy cobwebs, whatever. And we'll make, you can change the quantity, we'll do 10 cobwebs. And then you can save and import. So once you have completed making your mod for Minecraft, and you can do however many things you want, I think, I don't exactly know the exact number of how much you can do, like, until you reach the max limit. But for this one, I'm just going to do four, one for each thing. So when you're done, you're going to want to click Save and Import. So it'll ask you if you want to save and import the mod to Block Launcher, which is the other app that you should recommend, that I would recommend installing. So then it'll show this page, and you want to click Import. And the mod import is imported. You want to set this texture pack. You can just click Import again. And then at the bottom, it'll say open block launcher. And that's what you want to click on. So you want to just open up block launcher. So basically, block launcher is just a Minecraft simulator. It'll open up Minecraft. And if you click in this little wrench up here, it'll show you like these different options. You can do your texture pack, manage modern PC scripts, whatever, take screenshot, whatever you want to do. But um, you can just do that. And then what you want to do is you want to just click on play. And you can go ahead and create a new world or open up an existing one. So then after you have opened up your world with Blanc Launcher, you can go ahead to your chat box. And you can type in... You're going to want to type in dash items and then you're going to want to click the next and the items have been added so now you have all of these different blocks you have the different things and all of these different interesting uh, mobs and items and all that so that's basically how you can make a mod in minecraft pocket edition and you really don't even need any coding or experience for that all you need to do is download the two apps that i mentioned mod mod maker for Minecraft and block launcher. And then you can just get started and make as many mods as you want. So I hope that you've enjoyed this instructive tutorial and be sure to subscribe and like the video if you did enjoy it. Thank you for watching.